Today is the day, frugal friends. Oh my goodness. We are gonna get all of this out of here so that we can prep this bed. The kids are unloading the van. We've got potting soil and potting mix. We will do some in-ground stuff and then other things in pots. But we are gonna move all of this rock out of here, all of these weeds, get these beds prepped for the plants that I had for them two years ago before, you know, the foot happened over here on one of these rocks. Where are we going to put all of these? Well, I'm still sorting out like exactly what I want to do. So in the meantime, while we're kind of figuring it out, we need to find a place, like a temporary place to put them. We could put them along the driveway, maybe, you know, um, a pile over here kind of lined up with the fence. We could put them in the patio area, or another option would be to finish cleaning out the disaster over here under the lightning tree and to just put them over here. The family, everybody has already made a huge progress in this area, clearing out the debris and everything. We just need to finish clearing that side. And so I'm really thinking the rocks could just go in here. I don't think that's a bad idea. It doesn't mean they're gonna live there permanently, but in order to do the other beds, we've gotta get them out of the way. And sometimes you just gotta move some stuff around, you know, make one mess into another mess to another mess until, you know, you're able to get all of them done, especially when you have, you know, limited space or whatever, limited options that might just be what you've gotta do. And I think this is a pretty dang good idea. P.S. The Wonderland Memorial Garden. Needs a lot of work. Lots and lots of work. And we're gonna be doing that this summer. The majority of the stuff that I'm doing out here will be over on my grown-up channel, my current obsession. That's where I'm doing most of my gardening stuff. But if and when the kids are involved in helping, I will include footage of that here on the vlog channel. Now all this mess and disaster and stuff encroaching on my property that is from the neighbors and we are going to have to have a discussion with them because we were we're going to be getting the fence put in finally this year and then we won't have to see any of this and they won't be able to continue encroaching on our property i am so excited i got that tree pruned last fall and started on the apple tree the rest of these desperately need attention so much to do I don't want to get myself overwhelmed with all of it so let's just focus we will take the wheelbarrow and go get those rocks we're gonna get all the weeds first into the garbage so that we don't transfer them to other parts of the yard look at all this it's that blasted vine weed that no bind weed bind weed and it is a vine and it's terrible Slowly, but surely. The stupid spiders! And with lots of spiders and worms and roly polies, it is coming along. Olivia and Reagan have been taking turns, taking the wheelbarrow back to the lightning tree and dumping out the rocks. Being really careful to get weeds off so that we don't transfer them. Yeah, 
Look at this. That's teamwork, frugal friends. I can't believe how well my foot is doing. I am using my uh, back brace and my garden stool thing. Very, very handy, very useful, very helpful. I will link those with Amazon affiliate links in the video description. I highly recommend them. Reagan and James got that double stump out. Isn't that wonderful? Now they're gonna go get rid of that for me. And then we are taking a half hour break because my goodness, it's, it's a lot. Mimi is uh, gonna work out here pulling these weeds. Lulu's gotta go to work. Once Mariah has all of those uh, weeds pulled as best she can, I am going to come out with some uh, weed fabric and lay several <laughs> thick layers over this. I'm taking a short break, my body says so, but I am amazed at how much this body has been able to do, especially with such a great team of helpers. We are, we are getting stuff done. And here is where we have ended up. There is supposed to be snow tonight, so I'm gonna have the kids come and gather up the tools and put them away, and we'll throw this debris away but we've got tools still out here we used a tarp because Reagan couldn't find the weed fabric that I wanted to use but that's fine this will do the job I just wanted to keep this area suppressed as far as weeds and stuff like that until I'm ready to work with it and yeah we'll see we'll see what we end up doing but at least for now it is cleaned it is covered and ready for well when I'm ready and then over here these big rocks were keeping out here because after the snowstorm and after I recover from my recent elbow treatment, we are gonna go ahead and build up the terraced layers. So stay tuned for that. There will be uh, the bottom layer. It won't have rocks around it. It'll just have lots of like really fluffy <laughs> like flocks and things like that um, and strawberries and stuff. But anyway, there'll be the bottom layer and then a rounded rock terrace uh, kind of retaining wall and that's gonna go you know start here and go around the leftovers of the stump and then we'll build up in this corner and have another rounded section there quite a bit higher and all of this debris I'm being really careful making sure that while I'm walking and talking I'm looking at where I'm going being careful guys but all of this is seed rich debris from throughout the yard and we are just going to sprinkle it break it up and sprinkle it throughout these beds yes I want to you know do some planning and mapping out of certain plants but I also want to experiment by throwing all of this in there and seeing what pops up you know having a bit of an adventure if you will I think that'll be fun Reagan my beautiful boy got rid of the roots that were here in this walkway, which is wonderful. They terrified me every time I walked through here. So grateful for that. He also got rid of some roots that were headed out to the driveway and the front walk and the sidewalk and that are part of the reason that all of that cement is all jacked up. But it is starting to come down slowly but surely, you know, as the those other roots rot and decay, the uh, the cement slabs are very slowly starting to come down. Obviously there's other roots and whatnot throughout, but I feel really good about the roots that he was able to get rid of. This part of the sidewalk has come down significantly. Over there, obviously there is, you know, it's still pretty jacked up, but um, we'll get there. And then of course there's the mailbox, that disaster that I started destroying, what, a year ago? I don't remember when I did. There's a lot to do. There is a lot to do and I'm feeling so good about it. And with my kids and my husband helping and as my foot continues to get stronger and we do the treatments on my elbows, working as a team, this is going to be beautiful. So I do hope that you will stay tuned, that you will be subscribed and uh, we'll see you all real soon.